good morning friends in today's uh, class we are going to conduct a experiment that is uh, through the simulation we are going to conduct test on isode impact test before i start with the impact test i want to thank mhrd government of uh, india for its uh, in, um, initiative for the virtual labs and i also want to thank national institute of technology karnataka suratkal for providing access to all the teachers students as well as the researchers to conduct the experiment through virtual labs here we are going to see the experiments which are conducted on material testing or strength of material lab here are the list of experiments which can be conducted here i am interested about isod impact test now you can see that the isod impact test is open in this the first part is the theory they have provided after that a procedure is there how you need to conduct the experiment and you need to self evaluate how much knowledge you have in strength of material lab or material testing lab directly i will go to the isod test uh, simulator test okay in this you can see that this is the isod impact test this is a testing machine the main uh, intention or the objective of this uh, isod impact test is to find the impact resistance of a mild steel or a cast iron in this either you can use mild steel or cast iron material to find out the impact resistance of that material why impact test is conducted impact test is conducted to find out the toughness of the material toughness is nothing but it is the ability of the material to absorb energy during plastic deformation there are two types of uh, deformation one is elastic deformation other one is plastic deformation we are talking about the plastic deformation elastic deformation is nothing but when you apply the load the material will deform after the removal of the material if it regain its original shape and size then we, we, we will call it as the material is in elastic stage whereas plastic is nothing but when you apply the load the there will be deformation in the material and after removal of the load the material is not going to regain its original shape and size that is nothing but the material has entered into a plastic zone now we are talking about the toughness means the ability of the material to absorb energy during plastic deformation how to uh, conduct the isod impact test through the stimulation and this first you need to click the arrow mark this is the experimental setup this was uh, done by department of uh, applied mechanics and hydraulics nitk suratkal now you can see that before conducting the isod impact test first you need to find out the frictional loss in the member or frictional loss in the testing equipment in this to find out the frictional loss first you need to adjust this pointer to 164 joules this is the starting point this is zero and for uh, isod it is the maximum energy is 164 joules you need to adjust it to 164 joules and the angle of the pendulum will be 85 degree here you can see that this is the pendulum the angle of the pendulum should be at 85 degree after that now you need to release this pendulum by operating this lever without uh, keeping the specimen here you can see that i have not uh, kept the specimen without keeping the specimen you need to find out the loss of the energy due to friction here i am going to uh, click on the lever now you can see that the loss of the energy due to friction is 2 joules after this next you need to proceed further you need to click the arrow mark now in this two materials are there either you can choose cast iron or you can choose mild steel in this i will select 
mild steel as a specimen once i select the specimen it will give the dimension the length of the dimension is 77 usually what i will do i will take three trials length of the specimen is 77 breadth is 9.52 depth is 9.52 it is a uh, square a cross sectional of the specimen is square the depth of the notch is four whatever the v notch uh, which is done the depth of that uh, v notch is four mm next you need to click the arrow mark now uh, this is the um, specimen where you need to mount you can see that the specimen need to be mounted in a cantilever position cantilever is nothing but it is fixed at one end free at other end and while uh, fixing the specimen always this v notch should be facing towards the strike striker this is the striker position okay, here the striker is going to hit the specimen always this v notch should be facing towards the striker and the angle of this uh, groove v groove is 45 degree Now you can see that you have fixed the specimen which is cantilever fixed at one end, other end it is free. Here is the specimen. Okay, now I need to find out the energy absorbed by the specimen or the impact resistance of the specimen. In this, you need to release the pendulum by using the lever. You need to release the lever. In this case, the hammer is going to strike the specimen and the specimen breaks into two pieces otherwise if the specimen doesn't breaks okay what happens to the um, test which you are conducted during the impact test if the test specimen is not broken completely then the impact value obtained is indefinite you don't have a definite value it is indefinite and while uh, uh, creating the all, uh, report in that you need to mention in the test report uh, it should be stated that the test piece was not broken by striking energy of the testing machine you know i'm going to release the pendulum using this lever you can just see the specimen here this is the enlarged view of the specimen now you can see that the specimen has broken into two pieces and you know the total energy total loss of energy during the transit of hammer is 51 joules whereas the energy for failure of the specimen is 80 minus ef ef is nothing but the frictional loss already are calculated as 2 51 minus 2 is 49 joules and to click on the arrow mark here you can see that initial energy of the hammer is the maximum is 164 joules Average loss of energy due to friction. Frictional loss is 2 joules. The total loss of energy during the transmit transit of hammer is 51 joules. Therefore, the final energy for the failure of specimen is ET minus EF. It is 51 minus 2. It is 49 joules. This is trial 1. Now, I will uh, uh, go ahead with the trial 2. In this trial 2, the dimensions are changing the length is changing breadth is changing the depth is also changing but the v notch uh, diameter is same okay here also the v notch should be facing towards the striker there is no need of uh, calculating the frictional loss once again already are calculated it will be same now you need to uh, release the pendulum with this lever now you can see that the specimen has broken now the previous one was uh, the total loss of the energy during the transit of hammer is was 51 now it is 46 minus frictional loss it is 2 46 minus 2 is 44 joules here you can see the readings it is 44 joules now i will see the one more try and i will change the dimensions here you can see that the length is different breadth is different depth is different here the depth of v notch is 5 mm this is the depth of v notch you need to click on the arrow mark now once again you need to 
release the pendulum by the lever here the specimen has broken into two pieces the total loss of energy during the transit of hammer is 48 joules 48 minus 2 frictional loss will get it as 46 joules these are the readings this is trial 1 trial 2 trial 3 in this the material is same but you have changed the dimension for that reason if you have changed the material then you could have taken it differently but the material is same that's why you have to take the average of this three trial therefore average energy for failure of the specimen is 46.33 joules this is how the impact um, test that is iso test is conducted in the previous lecture i have conducted the, conducted the experiment in our uh, material testing lab you can uh, go through that and through this uh, stimulation you can uh, compare the results thank you for uh, watching